open intelligence um, is present in all, all data streams. So everything that we can think right now, feel, emote, it, it, it is present there and it was present there all the time. And by, via the practice of short moments repeated many times, they open intelligence become continuous. Yeah? And open intelligence become <laughs> continuous, it's a, it's a good one because the practice of short moment is just a, you know, we do it for a while and then we get used to it, like we got used to anything, like we got used to our name and like we got used to do all the things that we do without thinking about it, you know. Tying our shoes, for example. It became automatic, it became continuous. And that's how easy open intelligence is. But at some times, you know, there might be periods where you say to yourself, oh, open intelligence became continuous, I'm, I'm, I'm so cool. And nothing, n there are no problems, nothing is happening. And, you know, you th and there's a bit of an emphasis of the excitement of open intelligence became continuous, like, like it says in the text. And, <laughs> and, and, and people are sharing and... <coughs> And it's good, you know, that's fine. We can enjoy that as well. But it might, uh, might be suddenly, I don't know from where, probably from open intelligence, <laughs> that uh, an afflictive state will come out of nowhere. And then you'll be in a state of, oh my God, did I ever take a short moment? Wait. <laughs> was it continuous or, the, or was just made it up? And you see, that's just another opportunity. So we always have the tool of short moments to cut through the root of all data streams, including the ones that says that we got it and the ones that, that we say, oh, we probably will never get it. So there's no need to adopt any extreme just to enjoy whatever appears right now. And then you see that open intelligence just becomes more and more obvious and you gain confidence in that. That's what I gain confidence in. That I gain confidence and assurance that I'm fine no matter what. That regardless of all my many descriptions, I feel great. You know, now I feel totally jet lagged. I don't know why. I came from a one and a half hour train ride. So, uh, <laughs> but it's there. So not a big deal, right? I can just rest as open intelligence and see what's going on. And I might get, go early to bed solutions, practical solutions in every moment. And um, it's great that also you described in your question that you find lots and lots of energy and you are less, you know, all those stop signs of emotionality are starting to collapse like domino, right? Oh, I can't do it because I will feel deeper. Oh, I can't do, oh, oh I can't. And then you see, wow, there's really nothing going on. There's just openness. Wherever you go, in each data stream, there is openness. And once we, so, um, solidify this openness, you can say, with the four mainstays, relying on the support structure, then the openness, rather than being just open, it also becomes really practical. And the direction is always what will be of most benefit. And that's where all of the support is so essential. The short moments themselves, and they will become continuous, and the trainer, the training, and the community. And we sit so comfortably on this four-legged chair, and we are very clear, like on a mountaintop, to see which direction we want to take, how we want to utilize all of this great energy that we found and in ourselves to be of benefit to all. And that's something I ask myself, because I think after like one and a half years of the training, I felt great all the time. It's a joke. <laughs> For me, it was unbelievable, but I just felt great. And I knew, okay, whatever will come up, I, I, I know what to rely on. It was so, the assurance was so strong. And then I said, okay, what, what should I do now where complete mental and emotional stability is just very obvious? Should I go and say bye to the balance you training and go off and I don't know, do some other things or I was just not clear. So that's the, those where I really used the support and I saw that I want to dedicate my life to the benefit of all. And it, you know, it can sound very like serious stuff, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there are no special uniforms to the, to, to the benefit of all and it's not like, um, it's not weird. And I love it, and I love it because when I, because I'm, I'm reading the news and in the beginning many people said community, you know, one of the mainstays is the community. And also I had so many data streams about community, but now everybody's using the word community and it feels good. 
like global community. Th those are terms that people now use com very much uh, in the news and in the social change movements and everything. We are a global community, and in Balanced View, we really provide what is so essential for global uh, community to operate together for the benefit of all, including when there are different opinions, because there always will be always will be different opinions. Even now, if I'll ask you what is your favorite food, mine is different than yours, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah? And if we'll ask everyone what their favorite food, there will be many data streams going on. And that's <coughs> fine, you know, that's totally fine. That, and anything, you know, food is just something that is really dear to my heart and stomach, but um, <laughs> it can be anything at all, like political views or how to where to put the nail and all of that. So <laughs> rather than relying just on our own, rather than relying just on our own thoughts and emotions, and you know, when it feels so strong that, oh, I know it all, I I'm so right right now, it's so good to rest there and test open intelligence and see where it leads. What you'll find and what, what we all find globally as a community and also in the local communities that a new intelligence is starting to emerge directly from everyone involved. And we call this intelligence, of course, open intelligence, but also group wisdom, where great solutions are coming together into a great um, combination of many ideas together. And there's no, no emphasis so much on who's wrong on, or who's right. Like, I can be wrong all day long, but what is, the ben what is for the most benefit of all? That's the guiding force. And, and you see, just thinking about it, even intellectually, it clears the way to so much innovation and so much openness that wasn't available before. Because before, I used to take myself as a um, closed system. Closed system, okay. I'm a someone who needs to prove himself in the world. I want the approval of all of you. I, I wish that you'll think I'm great and my opinions are great and, you know, and all of that. And, and that's the mission, that w that's the mission. I, I came out of the womb and I drummed some data streams to my mind and then I wanted to go ahead and prove myself to be someone, an individual, a powerful one. Now, so boring. <laughs> And when we start to relax with these ideas and just to see that we are totally connected as a community, then the benefit of all becomes some, like a, a mutual vision or a global vision for all of us. And we all participate with our great strengths, gifts, and talents. So, yeah, we all have great strengths, gifts, and talents, all of us. When, once we start to settle into complete, always available mental and emotional stability, all of our potency is activated. You know, what you shared, all this power, yeah, it's good. It's not a problem. Sometimes you'll feel exhausted, fine. Sometimes not. But see, what, what is of most benefit? Am I running wild all over the place like a drunken elephant? And surely that was my experience for a long time into the training. I'm just so excited. Even with jet lag, I'm so excited. Jet lag from one and a half hours uh, trip <laughs> in a train. Before, like, if I would have jet lag from one and a half hour trip in the train, I would be like, oh, wh why did it happen? Was it the kombucha I drank in Totnes every day? Or, you know, is it, maybe I shouldn't be here. You know, it was all, all, always so weird. Like, all, all the connecting the dots that was based on some teenage magazines that I read, you know, it's just so weird. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to base my life decision on a teenager's, teenager's magazines or I don't know what, or all, all the ideas that I digested over time. I want to base it on reality itself, on the potency of reality itself. And th this is done very clearly, very directly, and very perfectly, if you can say, with the four main states of balanced view. So everyone who is open for that, they're, so, they're served completely. I feel so served within the context of the four mainstays. Served, like I wake up in the morning and I feel served totally and cared for by my trainer, by the community, by the amazing media that is available, by, by the text that Candice is pouring out like 
mighty river, rains, mountains, or I don't know how human beings can do it, but it's happening. She just write this amazing text all of the time, and wow, I feel so served and nour nourished by that. So I feel more and more energy, I feel more and more powerful without the need to prove anything, and that's a great relief. That's just a great relief. If you want to contemplate and think about things, that's fine. Just take short moments there. You know, there's no need to take an extreme like, oh, the, we, we shouldn't think about anything because that's not an open intelligence mode. You can think about whatever you want, like the nails and the food and the train ride. But just take open intelligence with you wherever you go because it's already there, so stop ignoring that. <laughs> You know, it's not like we're dragging an annoying friend with us. <laughs> it's always there. We just need to recognize it until we become so assured and so held by, by open intelligence. And it's amazing that it's available all of the time. Like, I checked it everywhere. I checked it on many continents, <laughs> and, and <laughs> including my home country, which I was amazed for the first time when I went there and I took short moments. Wow, open intelligence is also there. Because for me, from reified intelligence, that was the, the place where nothing good can happen. But when I brought open intelligence with me, or at least I recognized that it's already with me, uh, it was great, you know, it was really good. Bring open intelligence to your depression, your sadness, your confusion, your happiness, the thoughts about marriage and children, the thoughts about regret about the past, what you want to wear, and it will be infused, you know. <coughs> it will be infused with power and vitality and with new kind of intelligence that is not available from only thinking about things. It's just not available just thinking about things. It's not, it, it, we can't find it. It's too hard. It's like, I don't know. For me, it many times felt like I'm banging the head in the wall constantly, <laughs> trying to find solutions or break the wall. But my head was painful. You know, the, the wall stayed there. The wall of reification stayed there. But with open intelligence, we see that there was never a wall. And we just made it up. And together, when we look at each other and cooperate together, there's just something very powerful is happening. And it's happening very quickly now. Like, because of this great life of mine where I travel all over the world and I see the communities, wow, the momentum is strong. The momentum is powerful. Even just when we were sitting here together and listened to Candice's talk a few weeks ago, since then, even, there's such a boost, you know, there's such a boost in power and energy, and the communities are growing. Newcomers are coming, many newcomers that I met over the last weeks, and they're amazed from the first moment. Totally open and ready. People are tired from uh, reification, and that's good. If you, t you feel totally exhausted with thinking about things and trying to change them, this is such a good place to be. If you f feel totally broken, sad, and miserable, so good. <laughs> if you are tired of ideas of other people and your own ideas that you nourished and, you know, f like a flower that never grew, that's really good. <laughs> that's really good. That's the point of total exhaustion where from there you just lift yourself with short moments and the proper support. That, that was my disposition when, when I met the training. I was tired. I was tired of other people telling me what I can and cannot do, what I can and cannot think, what I can and cannot feel, what I can and cannot dream. I was totally tired of it. So waking up with open intelligence and then we're not so tired anymore. <laughs> we're energized, even with a jet lag. <laughs> it's great. <laughs>